slice modification using play effects and uh, sequencer clock because it's, it's cool and that everything lines up. No, let's turn that off. Okay, um, first what we need to do is we need to get a sample in so I'm going to use clock so it's precise and I'm going to set the clock by holding this button here and I'm going to set it to these there's you can set it from 1 to 16 I'm gonna set it at 8 which is there okay now we'll just align this back up because that's our rate although you don't have to but just in case you jog it and it thinks you want to move it okay so now I'm going to introduce the clock coming from the sequencer that, and uh, I'm going to turn on some music in the sequencer, some piano music, and then start a record. Try to get the timing right. stopped it. So is it just going around and around now? A bit of phasing there, but for the example this is good enough. Okay, now I'm going to use this uh, pulse to slice it also. Okay, by plugging it into the slice, it'll create a bunch of slices. Okay, that'll be enough. Now we'll check our slices. Now I could have sliced it while I was uh, recording, but I chose to do it this way because in Echo it'll continue to play the size of the whole loop. See from the, every time I hit slice it's, it lines up. Okay, so we're going to modify this one with start end. Okay, so there's our first one modified. Now what, oh, what you do is you hit play and then you tap record and now it's saved. As you can see, I'll play the next one. Oh, I guess it was, uh, I don't remember which one it was. Oh, there it was, it was four. Okay, so I'm going to do one now. And we'll make it backwards. Okay, there's one. And two. Sounds cool. And three. Mm. We'll do that. <laughs> okay, so there we got four, three, two, one. I created a lot of other slices, so, but you don't have to create all those. All right, so now, um, I'm going to use the same clock source again to play the slices. It's a bit fast. I could slow it down, I guess, by dividing. But, uh, oh, and we'll use the sequencer output to select the slices. Oh, maybe we'll use this, uh, this gate a little bit more civilized. 
So now I can shift two different slices the offset. And plus I can use uh, play effects on it also, even though it's already been play effects. Okay, so now I'm going to use, uh, oh, maybe I'll, uh, no, uh, okay, um, you can also change the uh, sample rate. up a bit. We can get all different kinds of sounds. The cool thing is, is that, uh, okay, I'm just going to put that back. And, uh, you can use the slice groove sequencer on this. See, it's recording right now. And then you just hit this button. Now it's uh, sequencing. But you can create a whole groove. And then play it back. Do it manually. So there's slice modifier. You can modify it with uh, start, end, and position um, play effects on the fly, or or you can permanently modify it like I just showed you. 